Lady Homa, hello, it's Hong Kong. I'm Napoleon Biggs from Web Wednesday and we're recording the next episode of 852 Reboot Hong Kong. Our guest today is Shay Stanley, who is the founder of Little Steps Asia. Ta-da. Hello. So Shay, tell me, what brought you to this lovely city? Well, it was about 13 years ago. Uh, I was living in New York and had a really exciting opportunity to come here and um, do, do the launch of a couple new magazines, which was a bit of a dream job at the time. So you got bored of New York? New York's never boring, <laughs> but uh, Hong Kong and Asia was, yeah, it was super exciting. Cool. So tell me about your business. What, what is it about? I mean, you were in the magazine business when you first came here. So obviously you took that and did something with it. So tell us a little bit more about Little Steps Asia. Sure, yeah. I think I think the biggest thing that happened was I got I got pregnant and I started going to Google and started searching for the things that uh, parents were looking for um, and not finding any resources or there was a lot of outdated materials out there. So um, that's really where the idea came from. And uh, Little Steps Asia was born as, as really that digital resource that uh, parents are looking for for the lifestyle of parenting. So um, we don't really touch in too much on the fluffy uh, or um, I, I would say mom blog type type information. We really focus on the fun side of parenting, which uh, is the brunching, the e- you know, the, the where to stay, where to play, the events that are happening in the city. And do you find uh, in Hong Kong is this, you know, we have a lot of people tend to have help at home and stuff like that. Is this more focused towards the the mothers or is it fathers or both? How do you see the split? Yeah, so we were really careful in the early days and making sure we got that that branding right. Um, and Little Steps Asia is a is a resource for all parents. So we actually have about 25% of our parents that are our readers that are actually dads, are are men. And I think a lot of that has to do with uh, the fact that Little Steps is about lifestyle. So you know, it's it's it is what to do on the weekends with kids, which is a lot of time what you see. You know, uh, you know those that work. Have Heavily are, are looking for so we do have yeah 75% moms 25% dads and what I like about you is that you're, you're not seeing it as a traditional magazine right you're you're a bit of a data head so uh, you're you've moved I mean you're telling me about you're doing Facebook live and things like yeah. this how do you think you know the media world is changing very fast how do you think how does an organization like you keep up with it? I mean the big guys are struggling yeah and they're getting there but how, how do you keep up with it so um, yeah, I would say that at Little Steps we're all kind of nerdy in that in that sense. We love data, and so I think what we look at is we look we have a team of parents uh, that really give us a lot of information. But a lot of what we do is common sense. It's what are your kids interested in? What are you looking for over the holidays? That kind of thing. And then we parallel that with the data that we have from Google Analytics. We look for trends, um, and then that's what determines what we roll out on Facebook, what we roll out in the email newsletters, um, and also what we work with uh, with our partners as well. So it's, it's the family kind of fun festive season now. There's yes. a giant. We got yeah, Santa we here. Go, Santa, yeah, Coca Cola. Um, tell us what you're doing you know, around, this, around that, that kind of season. What's, what's the interesting things that you're doing to yeah. kind of engage people? Because I'm curious, you know, you're in media, you've got, you're on Facebook, you've got you know, your website, you've got your newsletters. What, what kind of cool things are you doing? For the holidays? Well, around around the other yeah, festive. No, not you personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to just kind of get people excited and engage people. You mentioned data, so I was yeah. wondering. Yeah. So what so what we do is we look at what's what what people are looking for right now. So it's where to take your kids to go see Santa Claus. Um, we also look at uh, you know you've also got Hanukkah. You've got a lot of other different. Um, you know, other than Christmas, Diwali that, that, uh, that, yeah, Diwali's huge on Little Steps, especially on our, you know, we're, we're active in six cities. So each of those cities has a different kind of festive agenda on and the content side. And those cities are? It's Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, Jakarta and KL, those are local sites. And then we have Bali and Macau, which are travel sites. So most of the readers on those uh, sites are actually those living out, traveling to those locations. So being across all these cities, what's it like? I mean, what's it like running a business like this, a media business out of Hong Kong? Is it? You know, what are the benefits or the downsides? What do you like about it? Uh, so Hong Kong is um, is a fantastic place to do business, uh, mainly because the energy is, it, everybody wants to help each other out. I mean, I can't tell you how many texts that I get every week from people that are out and about discovering new restaurants, you know, friends or people that work at Little Steps. Um, everybody's quite excited about discovering new things here in the city. And I think that's really what the brand is built on, is, is discovering new things and getting out and about and doing adventures with the kids. Um, I would say uh, from a regional perspective, it's a great place because you have a lot of tools out there. Like we use Slack, we use a lot of different communication tools. We hire a lot of freelancers, um, both on the local side, but also on the SEO side off of Upwork. Um, our video editor sits in Europe. So Hong Kong is a place that you can really 
get the local information, but you can also use a lot of these resources for running uh, more of uh, you know, a, a digital uh, group of people. And uh, being across these cities, does that mean that you, you use multiple languages? Or are you kind of sticking with English for the moment? Do you localize at all? Uh, we, we localize in the content in terms of in, in the content calendar, but um, based on our research, uh, everybody likes the tone of Little Steps, which is really, you know, happy-go-lucky. Uh, you know, so what we do is we, we really focus on the English-speaking uh, uh, communities in each of the different cities. In places like Hong Kong, Singapore, it's not a problem. Very nice. Okay, well, let's do the first plug. What would you like to plug? All right. Well, I think the first thing that I'd like to talk about is Little Steps. We're very active in the education scene. So we work with a lot of the schools in Hong Kong, in Singapore, in Jakarta, also after school activities. Um, so we're constantly looking for innovations in that space. Uh, what we found that's working quite well in that space is the video side and Facebook Live side. Um, and we, we're working with a lot of schools on Facebook Live at the moment. So what we're doing in 2020 is rolling out a series in Hong Kong and Singapore that's going to be a six-part series in each of those cities to talk about the different curriculums as well as uh, you know, the different types of things that parents are looking for when they're looking for a school. I'm glad you said parents because as far as I know, teenagers don't go on Facebook anymore, right? <laughs> so <laughs> you're targeting the parents on Facebook. Are you doing anything on uh, Instagram? Um, or yeah. or they, are the kids not really your target audience? I'd say everything we do is integrated. Or TikTok, maybe. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, while, while we do Facebook Live on uh, Facebook, um, we also integrate that across YouTube, across LinkedIn, across our website. We embed it within our content. So um, we got an airplane. But <laughs> We're getting a visitor. Uh, yeah, we got a visitor here. Um, as far as Instagram goes, um, it's much more active in a couple of different cities like Singapore and Jakarta and KL. It's very active. Um, but we use Instagram more for community. So that's more behind the scenes stuff, what the team is up to. You'll see us, you know, what, what the Little Steps team is up to as well. And you're, you're, you know, you're a very active mum. I mean, hyperactive might be the term I'd <laughs> use. probably true. Full of energy. <laughs> so, you know, what else? You know, we're in a crazy fast paced city. Uh, there's something else that you do that I think be worth talking about. We maybe call it a plug. Yeah. How, how do people slow down and relax in the city apart from spas and, <coughs> and this, foot massages? Yeah. This has always been a challenge, <laughs> um, but uh, one of the things that, um, that that I have found has helped, and I'm still on my journey. Uh, but it's a bit. You know, it's, it's a bit overused, but mindfulness, meditation, yoga has been really great, not just for me, but also for my kids. Um, so we, we do uh, quite a bit of, you know, that in, in our house. Um, but also we, we also use Hong Kong's hiking trails. I mean, that's a great place to just be. So uh, that's been nice, a, a great way to kind of separate work, work and life um, and also just, just be present. How do you practice mindfulness whilst hiking on a trail? I'm a bit confused. Do you close your eyes or do you? <laughs> how, how does it work? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's uh, mindfulness, you know, it's, it's all about kind of looking at what's around you, right? So it's about okay. looking at the, uh, the trees and the leaves and just kind of taking in what, what you have. I think a lot of times in the early days when I would do my hikes, I would pop in the podcast and just go, but you're really multitasking if you think about it at that time. So if you can, if you can just really um, see what you're actually doing, that's, that's part of the, the idea. So it doesn't your, advice, always happen. your advice is switch off and go for a hike. Yes, yeah. I, uh, Hong Kong's awesome for hiking. Very nice, thank you, Chi.